Subnautica is a survival game that is coming out January 16th according to the Steam page. It is being made by Unknown Worlds Entertainment, which has also made Natural Selection 2. You play as the sole survivor of your ship's crash on an aquatic alien world. It's your job to find out what happened to your ship and the rest of the crew by diving to the depths of the world. In order to figure out what happened to the rest of the crew, you need to find life pods that have sunk. Once you find these life pods, you can locate PDAs that will tell you what happened to, that, to the members of that pod. To find out what happened to your ship, you need to find the black box. Before you even think about finding the black box, you need a radiation suit so you don't die. Once you get to the ship and fix it, and then wait for the radiation to go away before looking for the black box. It will be easier to look for the black box without the impending doom of dying by radiation. We can't go into much more of the story without spoiling it, so we'll move on to the fun part of the game, surviving. The best way to survive in the game is by hunting fish that can be used for food and water. There are also some islands that have abandoned bases and fruits. The fruits can be used to take care of thirst and hunger needs. It would be useful to carry around, but it takes a lot of space in your inventory and it decomposes quickly. Abandoned bases can be scanned with a scanner tool. Once they are scanned, you'll be able to build rooms onto your bases. Bases are key to survival because they can be built in any biome. Bases can be used to store submarines, recharge power cells, and store items. Also, with the scanner, you can scan blueprints for submarines and rifles. Submarines will help you to get to deeper biomes in the world. The better your submarine, the deeper you'll be able to go. Rifles can stun fish that want to eat you, and there are also blueprints that can make your base and submarines better. Let's go over what a biome is real quick. A biome is one of the many in-game ecosystems. For example, the game starts in the safe shallows. The safe shallows is surrounded by the creepvine, forest, and grassy plateaus. The shallows, creepvine forest, and grassy plateaus have everything that you need to make your first submarine. The first submarine that you can make is called the Sea Moth. It's one of the cutest things in the game. It can only go 300 meters deep, but that's deep enough to find what you need for your next submarine. There's been a new update, and it adds your very own Wilson-like friend to the game. Stay in touch.